How about today? Have letter number 5901. January 20th, 2017. What if you would see the world from love? What would you see? What if you could see into hearts from your own heart? What if you could really see as I do see? You would favor all. You would bless all. You would make a difference in everyone's life. You would shine light like a thousand stars. You would pick everyone up and brush them off. Today you see I have begun this heaven letter with the quotation of mine. Every heaven letter, every sentence, every word plants a seed. It could be said that every heaven letter contains seeds of every other heaven letter. In the same way, it can be said that every plaint a child of mine makes is a seed of the same plaint from all my children. Here is one plaint. Beloved God, I want to be beyond having to come crying to you about a momentary difficulty that repeats and repeats itself in varied forms. I want to be free of difficulties. I want to be free. Grant me freedom, God. I hesitate to ask you for freedom from the past. I want to keep my memory and yet see in a new light. God, give me new ways of seeing. Give me, please, bright light and the gift of permanence. May I once and for all see through your eyes. There are dozens of talents and skills and also material things in the world that it feels urgent to me to change. For one, I want to talk less and listen more. I used to be so quiet. I don't want to ever be so quiet again nor do I want to ever again be a chatty Cathy who babbles endlessly. Sometimes I think that energy is the secret of life. Please grant me more energy. To think of leaping out of bed, raring to go. To think of never being exhausted, yet going to sleep at night gladly and easily. I could go on and on. What I really really want to be is a different person from what I am right now. I want to be easy going in life at the same time as I am ambitious and focused and hard working. God, I get that you see higher than I do. Do you also desire the same desires for me and all your children that we desire for ourselves? Dear ones, we desire the same big picture. Not necessarily the same details. Change is good, yet you don't have to be a different person. You are still you, yet ever growing. Of course, from a deeper reality, you and I are one. In the world as it appears to be, you are to love yourself before you can love your neighbor as you were born to. You see it that you have a long road to go, and you fear that you may never get there. You may find that you spent this whole lifetime wanting to love yourself more, and you haven't made it. Is this true that you do not wholly love yourself yet let alone others? In attachment, you may excel. In love for all, you struggle. You may well have been brought up with selfishness as your model. You may feel that all the time in the world will not be enough. You forget that time does not really exist, not one second of it. You forget you live in infinity where you are already self-realized. I remind you again that the enlightenedness that you desire is not something you do. You already are. A light bulb will go on, and you will see what has been true all along. You may be the last to know, yet you will come to know that you are bright shining love along with everyone else. It's like you have been chasing your own tail all along. You have always been enlightened. Enlightenment is not an achievement. It is given to you. One day you will know this for a certainty. How about today? Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org